How long would it take us? Would we die? So today, instead of turning right from our farm, we turn left. We are going to take a look what's at the end of the road. Um, we are going to end up in an F road. And F roads are closed in winter. And even though it is October, it's already winter season in Iceland. So we are not planning on driving them, at least not driving deep into them. Otherwise, if we followed this road, we could cross the entire country of Iceland. And 200 kilometers, we would end up very close to Reykjavik. Oh yes, it is. Here we have like a 4x4 vehicle required. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll drive it a little bit, I think. Oh, there's a dog. Do you see the dog? Be careful so it doesn't run on the road. Yeah, I think he doesn't like us driving here. He's, 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 he's trying to tell us like what you're doing. Like, stupid <laughs> what are you doing, Lithuanians. stupid? Stupid, stupid tourists. Lithuanians, don't do that. Stupid don't go tourists. there. You're going to be killed. It's super serene very quiet beautiful nature you can see the sun on the mountain um yeah so this is some information why is off-road driving prohibited because it does big damage to the icelandic nature and here we have a 4x4 See, 4x4 Jeeps, not four-wheel drive passenger cars yeah, are allowed. Yeah, I'm looking at it, so probably this one is not even allowed. No. No internet? No, well, it's like edge or something like that. Okay. Like, basically no internet. So if we get deeper, I don't think it will get better. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, um... There was another sign for the F road over there and pretty much immediately after it there's the river crossing here and also here we have a sign that says end of five whatever that means yeah so we also need to cross the river We're still walking on that F road F26 um, just turn around what we see in front, um, just surrounded by mountains, there's a little bit more wind by now, probably it's an evening thing or something, because usually when we get out in the evening I notice that there is much more wind than during the daytime, remember when we went out to watch the northern lights and we are pondering, so what if we what if we continued down that road straight ahead? 200 kilometers and we end up on the other side of the country. How long would it take us? Would we die? How much would we walk a day? And it turned out there's a river and we were thinking, what are we hearing? Is there an airplane in the sky or is that the river? 